This is uh, how to safely hook up your trailer to your truck for safe tow. Uh, you want to make sure everything's done first. You want to make sure everything's stowed properly inside and outside. You want to make sure your slides are in. And uh, once you do that, uh, you want to start and you want to lift your jacks up now, your, your uh, stabilizer jacks. Now, again, these are stabilizer jacks. These aren't meant to level your vehicle. They're not meant for that much weight. So you need, uh, you need probably leveling blocks. We'll get into another segment about that, but these are leveling blocks that we use that we can put underneath the wheel to make sure our camper is level from uh, left to right. Uh, so that's a, like a lateral level. Uh, these are also good to place under the jacks here for a, uh, uh, if you're on soft ground. Since we just did a pit stop here in St. George, Utah, uh, we just did a quick uh, right on a ground surface. So that's a nice hard surface to do so. So all you gotta do is I use a drill and uh, as you see in the picture that I'm providing, there's a, how I keep the drill charged inside the truck. Uh, uh, but that's very convenient to have so you always have a charged battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just simple, uh, you can use the cross rinse too if you want, if you don't have your drill to do so. But I modified this piece where I can just use my drill to simply bring these up. And what I'll do is I'll go and do all four uh, stabilizers and we'll have that portion done. Okay, once all the stabilizer jacks are up, you're gonna wanna lift the tongue of your trailer. Uh, some people have a crank. We used to have that on our old trailers, but this is our new to us camper. So we have a nice uh, feature here that uh, is an automatic uh, hoist for your tongue. We're gonna lift up the vehicle. We're gonna sort of guesstimate how far up we need to be from the ball of the truck. Now that looks close enough. Now, what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna back the truck up into the uh, hitch assembly, and uh, from there we're gonna uh, load it onto the camper and. We'll go to the next portion is a, uh, uh, the proper uh, and what we use for our stabilizers and our uh, weight distribution bars to keep this hitched and safely uh, intact. Hey gang, now before I want to put the hitch on the ball, I want to make sure there's a hefty amount of uh, lithium grease on the ball. Uh, the reason for that is, is to avoid friction between the ball and the hitch. Some people don't recommend it, but the majority that I read, it's recommended, and I like to do it. Uh, I did it on all my trailers and my boat trailers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this lithium grease right here. It's a, uh, you can get it uh, at any store, any hardware store. And I just like to take a dollop right on my finger, and I like to spread it right over the ball. Be liberal, just a nice thick portion. And then I keep a towel handy along my truck. It's my dirty towel that I use for things. Now, I understand the reasons not to do it also is because this grease can collect some particles of dust and sand and it can cause a little bit of erosion and wear on your hitch. But I strongly recommend it to avoid friction. And, and uh, so you can either go either way, do your research on it, but this is what I recommend.
on the ball, we want to make sure we have a nice hefty lock. That's going to keep that pin basically in place and keep your, your ball locked into the hitch. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put stabilizers. we got the four point. It's a sway control. It's actually a weight uh, distribution. This is, uh, to me, a very important piece to have uh, with your trailer hitch assembly. What it does is it distributes the weight from your rear wheels to your front wheels. So it's all distributed. Instead of all the weight on the back of your truck, these aid in assisting weight on all, tire, all four tires evenly. So they're called weight distribution. And they also do a similar job that stabilizers do as well. In order, in order to mount these, what you gotta do is, you gotta lift the hitch up here. So what I'm doing is, I'm essentially lifting almost the back of the truck. I'm lifting the stabilizer assembly or the weight distribution assembly. Just enough so these will be parallel to the rear uh, adjustments here or the rear mount here. Now these simply go on with a pin. They slip in, they get pinned. I pin them from the inside because I don't want to get snagged on anything. And then I go back over here onto the rear portion, slides right on, it slips over. I like to face the pin this way. So if I'm going through some brush, it's not this way, it could pull out. So I like to put the pins in this way. And there you go. And what I do after this, I do the other side identically and my weight distribution is set. And that's it on weight distribution. All right, gang, now we have the uh, stabilizer weight distribution bars, blah, 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 connected. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll provide a link uh, to the uh, stable hours in the description if you decide to order through Amazon or, or uh, any other means. But uh, once those are on, we want to finish. Uh, but also, we want to bring up the base of the tongue. So the way we do that is using our electric jack here. We want to bring it up to about two inches from the top. That's pretty good. If you take it up farther, sometimes this gets stuck, and that's where this piece gets handy. This is where this, is where this comes in handy. This is a, uh, a manual jack. Basically, you take the top portion of your electric jack off. There's a nut sticking out there. You put this onto the nut and you can manually crank. If you were to get, get that jammed up in there, you can crank it out and you can crank it back up. But uh, since I don't take it up anymore, we never have any problems with it getting jammed. Next thing we do is we're gonna set the chains. Safe the chains on. Other safety chain on. This right here, Go to your electric brakes for your for your uh, your trailer. Most larger trailers are equipped with electric brakes. What this is is once it's hooked up, if these chains were to give out and if this hitch were to give out, this would pull the brakes or activate the brakes of the trailer, and it will stop the trailer so it won't roll and continue and cause any more damage to traffic or anybody, any pedestrians along the way. Next thing we do is hook up the electric. I like to put a nice conductive grease in these fittings. So it'll it'll uh, it won't get dusty or it'll avoid any type of shortage. I just simply pop that in there. This is for my rear camera that's on back of the trailer. We want to remove these blocks right here. And you know that's about it. We got a couple little things to put away before we roll out. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, also give us a like on Facebook, Passionate Rambler. And we're also on Pinterest and Instagram as well. We're looking to get on Twitter too, I'm trying to figure that one out. But you know what? That's all there is. Ramble on and safe travels. And that's it. They're going off and going off in the wild blue yonder and safe travels, everybody. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Hold on. Distribution.